Hi, I'll show you how I made this video. This effect was using the reference files from Typeflow. You can download example scene files and this was a space colonization. But the interesting thing is when you do it yourself and reverse engineer, then you start to learn more and start to doodling and applying your own knowledge. So I'll show you, for example, this scene here. And I want to get this effect, but I have to understand how I could get it in a simple way. And it was using filters. So it goes a little beyond the example file. Come with me. First step, birth voxels. Select the objects, add selected. And press F3. In this case, we can select our objects and press Alt X. So it'll be X ray view. And you can see the object. Or you can just like hide. And you can see now the voxel. Second part, I'm gonna give custom properties and give it by value. And let's put a name FX pair just because I can. First part is done. Second part, you're gonna need a position icon where the structure will start growing, like the seed. So press X, tie icon. And it's important that this icon stay within the voxel. Because now you're going to put a birth. You can see 0 to 0, total 1, 10. Depend on what you're going to do in icon. Step position icon. Already selected, or you pick select. Next is the grow and remember that you put here custom properties the channel by value that's coming to play here when you choose space colonization and then target set target seed particle by default is target but you click here you're gonna find the custom name that you put. So now it's growing and like eating the voxels. And to finalize, blind path. Oops. Create new. And boom, let's start again. Here I'm back again. 3D Max, good guy, bad guy, because it saved the recovered file. So I just continue from here, create new again. And nothing you can see exactly now, because I need to click in parent. And this little eye here. So now you can see better. So now you have to play with the settings. For example, grow by default is like 10, 10. So it's expanding by 10 and kill by distance. So if you kill by distance lower, then it's growing. It starts to grow better, not dying too soon. So now it's already working. And what settings you can play to make it look more interesting. For example, you see that the splines are like that. So you can come to tie spline, weld bindings. So it looks better. See? And because it's now it's welded, you can play also, for example, with spline relax. You need so of course other settings is birth voxels i'll turn off just for a second so you can see how it's very regular so you can play jitter let's say 100 percent 
never exit that's gonna change how the space colonization will consume those voxels The speed that it's growing is defined by seed radius. So let's put here in 20, a frame, and check what happened if I put 1. So in 20, it came only here. Let's put 5. You see how it's changing. And of course, it's all a uh, relationship between all those settings. Kill distance by one. It's more branches. And so on. So how can I make it start to go crazy after it finish here? So let's say. Put by five to be more simple in my computer. Let's say by 50, it's already stop, right? So what I can do now is to force, add force, file save. Um, in force, I wanted this 0 0.1. And if I start to play now, it starts to acting like that, like crazy. I don't want this happening now. So normally someone would bring it here to the outside, put a time test, right? Say in the frame 20, greater than 20, go to the force and everything should work. Nap. The way to do it, a very nice way, bring it back. Delete time test. Go in filters, enable filters, add. Not position, but age, time, event, age, depend of what you want here. Let's put time, value 20, no, 50, right? My scene. Um, greater than 50. So what we just said was. It will filter, it will not enable this operator until this condition is satisfied. That is, the time frame is bigger than, greater than 50. So, you start playing, everything, this guy is not working, not working, not working, now 50, and then start working. So, that's the power of filters. You can make them much cleaner. Set up your time and your computer will you be thankful. And then you can apply that to any other volume. I just use a 3D model of a female body, except that in the end I didn't put this. So I'm curious to check what you're gonna do with that. Send me a comment. Next video I will uh, show your video, your creation. And my 3D model is here in my store in Sketchfab. You can check also. Quite cool. If you want to support me, go ahead. You will be very nice. Thank you. See you next one, guys.